And yours us. But who's right? The Aerials? The Nefalades? It's irrelevant now. There's no world left to destroy with our hate. Go to hell, Major. Guys, looks like we're in the clear. Mia, Magnum, get into your stasis suits. All right, everyone, commitment oaths. of my religion so it's just a coincidence that all the rest of you worship he who watches while I don't your hatred for us destroyed this world and believe me make it so easy to hate you that's enough we'll need to put aside our differences and live in peace on the new world so hard selected for us we may as well start now. Stasis injection.
up, my friends. Okay, guys, everybody up. We are here. You know what that means? Commitment oaths. Direct the alpha. Time to procreate. It's my father. Not anymore, kid. Let me guess. You tried to eat me. So you. are the rules necessary to rebuild our civilization but if you guys didn't take commitment oaths well the rule is nullified
This wasn't our destination. Too late now, guys. Bust them up. We're coming into the atmosphere, guys. It's gonna be rough. Thank you for bringing us to this world safely. We pray that you continue to watch over us. We promise to live in peace with the inhabitants. Inhabitants? We couldn't even live in peace back at home. We come from the same God. We're all made in his image. Say it! We promise, promise to, to live, live in peace, peace with, with the inhabitants. inhabitants. Igniting center engine for landing burn. Thank you, Zohar. Oh, it's Ovar changed our course. Taking us out of states six months early. Let us make our new world commitment oath. Thank you for bringing us to this world safely. Whether it's he who watches, he who listens, or she who guides. Or he who got fed up with our bullshit and went to find a new world. To a fresh start, free of religious divisions. Mishante. We're here, Father. I promise to live by the sword and die by the sword. I sense this emblem to be a symbol of goodness and protection, but sadly it's also been used to justify evil. An emerging power will soon threaten this world. Could it be the same force that destroyed me? A good or a bad vision? Someone very good and kind was born in this land. But he was a Zed. There are no good Zeds. Not a wraith in a way. By Zohar's estimation, we have arrived in this planet's year 2074. Many wars have transpired here, leaving the inhabitants in a state of despair and futility, and unaware of the apocalyptic threat that is about to be unleashed upon them. Do we all understand?
understand. Such a crude, rudimentary language. What does like whatever mean? It's a dismissive response to a question. Oh, I hope they don't have tentacles. Mm, not as big as your tentacles, I'm sure. No, no, no. no three minutes more. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, whatever. I thought it might be a wolf. Why have you heard a wolf collect? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm Thora. This is my committed magnum. This is Phoenix and Beset who are committed. Committed for what? To procreate. Hold that for me, would you, sweetheart? Hello, Wolfie. Hello. Procreate often. In two minutes, I'm about to. You see, Noah? The direct approach works every time. <gasps> He's mine. <laughs> Jealous much? <laughs> Are you committed? Not yet. Well, you came to the right place. Bunch of horny guys, drunk, away from home, ready to mount anything that moves. Try it, and I'll toss them in their tribe's designated fragments myself. Bye-bye, weirdos. Come on, Noah. Excuse me. Is there someone we can go and meet? Uh, just find the tent there. <laughs> <laughs> primordial urges. Ah, oh, India! What? Why do you always have to be so blunt, factual, scientific, direct, truthful, to the point? An archaeologist never beats around the bush. Unless he's a hot archaeologist, in which that case he could beat around my... Stop! Is that all anyone wants to do tonight? Yeah! How is it that Anand is less uptight than her niece? You know, we humans wouldn't exist if it weren't for sex. You know that. Yeah, but you don't have to broadcast it. Of course we do. I look at every male in the animal kingdom prancing about to entice a female. I meant humans. Guys wearing motorcycles, girls in high heeled shoes, tattoos, stylish clothing, uh, fancy cars, hairstyles, you know, jewelry, muscles. 
food jobs. You know, everything we do is an attention-seeking means to attract a partner. Hello, I'm India Jones. I'm the set. This is Mia, Phoenix, and that is Magnum, mating with his Thor. Mating! You see, you know what? That is a much better word for sex. It aligns us with animals, right where we belong. Are you from a local kibbutz? Uh, is there any room at the inn? Oh, my God. Excuse me, ma'am. You know where I can rest my wife? This broadcast video format is like the crude information dissemination device we had on Raid before evolving to telepathy. This place is a mess, and all of our religious differences, the same as rape. Why did we end up here? Maybe you should warn them. We find more at uh, lower elevations near ancient streams and watering holes where animals are killed while drinking. Animals, yes, but those are more commonly found when they're buried or burned. I of the water line. What are Zeds? Torture tools is a human dead. What the hell? Lead the way. Don't be scared, Mia. An animal probably found the body and damaged it before it was even buried. It's not an animal. And they don't get scared. Attention, please! We're gonna be moving the dig over this way. Mia just found something that appears to be Neanderthal remains. What are you sensing? God of this planet, the same as ours. But he takes a more active role in affairs here. I'll be gone about an hour, depending on how many questions our financing source asks. Thanks to you, we have the skulls to show that we're making progress. You're welcome. But I wouldn't call it progress. It's more of a warning you should heed. Are you always this ominous? Only before a planet's destruction. I'll give them a tour. Okay, good. We'll have fun. Or be ominous. Whatever turns you on.
swallows the force of a god's power. An energy stronger than I've ever felt. And festering like a cosmic storm ready to escape its cage. It is the source of all that is good and evil in this world. And if my visions are true, then this force is about to be harnessed by evil for evil's sake. Unless we can stop it. Any thoughts? You wouldn't believe us. Try me. I always keep an open mind. Should we tell her? We found the same type of skeleton where we came from. It was part of our prehistory as well. They were dead. Yes, they're dead. They were already dead when they were killed. Well, yes, there have been instances of warring tribes who dug up and mutilated dead bodies of other tribes purely for disrespect and humiliation. They didn't mutilate dead bodies. They killed the dead. Do you understand the difference? Not in the slightest. Dead people rose from the dead and had to be killed again. You're good. I actually thought you might know something. In fifth grade, kids would make fun of me because of my interest in archaeology and paleontology. Who could blame them? My parents didn't name me India Jones. One time, even a teacher joined in. In the site where he knew I was digging, he buried some KFC chicken bones, setting them in the shape of a bird. I dug them up, and he joked that they might be prehistoric and suggested that I send them to the Natural History Museum for analysis. A week later, while watching the news, I saw the museum curator holding my set of chicken bones and the letter with my name and address on it. He called them extra crispy Jurassic bones. India, we can reminisce about your life when you're lying in your coffin. I guess I won't be fantasizing about you anymore. Mia has something important to say. She was too polite to interrupt your boring and excruciatingly long story. There's something buried at the bottom of the Dead Sea. And it's not those KFD bones. She probably doesn't even know what KFC is or McDonald's, I suspect. She has a gift. Mia did find the school that got us additional funding. I owe you. As long as you don't tell me that the chicken bones were dead when they were killed. Of course not. Bird bones don't return from the dead. At least I understand that much. Unless the chicken's brains and ligaments were still intact, then they might. If this is a joke, there's nothing funny about the living dead. Remember way back when, before the first reawakening, when only five emerged? That was pretty interesting and darkly humorous. A few dead were scientific curiosities when we could joke about it. When there are millions of them and they outnumber the living ten to one, not so funny anymore. We'll just say they had the last laugh. You're an odd bunch. What planet did you say you're from? I already confided in India that we are extraterrestrials. She laughed and made a reference to phoning home. I very much like her, but if India Jones is considered among the most open-minded of the Earth humans, as she attests... It doesn't bode well for the rest of the people on this planet. I swear they're communicating. Maybe these people are not from Earth after all. That's what I told you. Where are you guys from, exactly? We're from Wraith. It's on a planet in what you guys call the habitable zone. Wraith is in Kepler-186-F of the Cygnus constellation. I knew there was life there. Was. Not only the dead inhabited. Well, at this point, I can handle anything. You can? Okay. I'd like you to meet my father. Good day, Miss Jones. I've heard so much about you. <sighs> I 
It's just sunstroke, Noah. Can you please go fetch Dr. Coleman? Tell him we need to conduct a few DNA tests. Most likely several. Sure, I'll end it. Thanks. The stone of Rhodesia, as I promised. I pray you can return it safely back to your people. The eyes of God will be upon me. He will guide me. I pray so. Agents in the Vatican are on the hunt. You must move quickly. How much time do we have left? The morning star returns tomorrow night. If the stone falls back into the hands of the Vatican, evil forces will be unleashed unto the world. Your assertion that the Pope may be the Antichrist is unthinkable as it is. May be true. I beg you, use the power of the stone to vanquish the satanic evils of this world once and for all. It will be done, or we will die trying. On behalf of the Order of the Enlightened, you have our eternal thanks, Father. May God be with you, my child. The fate of humanity is now in your hands. You are a chosen one. You're so kind, Father. But your knowledge of who now possesses the stone poses a risk to us all. If caught, we could be exposed. I'm sure you understand. Understand what? Why well, I have to do this? <laughs> Serpent has been released from its prison. Now, where did you say this head came from? Up. Way, way, way up. There is no true up or down in the universe. And Dea already knows that, my sire. She's a scientist. Sire? To keep him around for breeding? Never mind where it came from. What did you find, David? This must be a joke, right? They don't joke around much. If you say so. Human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Two X chromosomes, female, or one X and one Y, man. India already knows that. She's a scientist. Thanks, Thora. At this point, I feel like there's more I don't know than I do know. It's all right. I think all scientists think like that. But wouldn't it be boring if we already knew everything? Good point. Continue, Doc. Can somebody just get it out of here? Come here, Father. Father, so it is a man. Good, because I can see the X and Y chromosomes. Okay, let me explain. Now, that's a gross simplification. The X and Y chromosomes do actually resemble the letters, hence the names, except in this sample. The X and Y chromosome pair isn't a pair at all. It appears there's another line linking the two together. Like that. I've been thinking of it as the N chromosome triplets, based on the shape it makes. It's not an N chromosome. It's a Z. 
our people have found the Z chromosome triplet in every zombie sample we've ever looked at. Zombies. Uh, India. I'm coming for your brains. 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 This is ridiculous. They don't walk around with their arms out and shuffle. They're fast and they rarely speak. What they do do is chase you down and eat your limbic system. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Don't apologize, doctor. She wants to procreate with you. Everybody can see that. Phoenix and I are procreating right now. Well, don't you? She's very intuitive. She's got the ability to see when those are ready to procreate before they even know. It's what you call a special talent. Don't be embarrassed. It's perfectly normal. You two better hurry. Neither of you are getting any younger. And your mating festival will dry up soon. Well, thank you. Be said. We will take that under consideration. Uh, we will. <laughs> Oh, my God. I, I meant to say, forget it. What do we do about the zombies? You really think they're zombies? Well, of course not. But there's so much we don't understand. What are you grinning at? The two of you. It makes me remember the first time Phoenix and I made it. We should commit to each other and procreate right now. Stop saying that, okay? There won't be any procreating going on here, except for that. Okay. We asked you to run some tests on some people in this area that recently died. Did you do that? I did. I mean, it was a bureaucratic nightmare to get the permission, but yeah. What did you find? Well, I haven't looked at the results yet. You see, it takes time to isolate chromosomes and pair them up. But I knew these people. They were all patients of mine. Well, this is, was my father. Please check the results so you know this is not a joke. You have a chance to get ahead of this thing, unlike we did. I'm a physician. What are you? <laughs> What am I? I'm the best fighter on a base staffed with men and women trained to save this civilization. All the Rapians you see before you are the only survivors of that effort. We're trying to save your civilization. Pull your head out of your ass. Give him time. He hasn't seen what we've seen. We don't even know if it will happen on Earth. It's already started. Test results. <laughs> I am not impressed with the intelligence of beings on this planet. <laughs> no wonder. They only use 10% of their brains. 9.6, 12.8. They all show the same thing. The 23rd chromosome pairs haven't quite joined up to form the Z triplet yet. But in each case, there are thin strands connecting the chromosomes, indicating the process is already underway. You have to tell people about this. There still may be time to save your people. Are you insane? 
Do you even hear what you're saying? Even if I can't convince someone to listen to your ridiculous story, what good is that going to do? All you have to do is get people to stop hurting and killing each other. Then they can focus on stopping this. Oh, yeah. Let me just tell everyone that. I'm sure they'll stop being mean to each other. I'll bet that's why we were drawn here. We were supposed to give you information that could save you. He who watches works in mysterious ways. You need to dig up all the non-skeletonized human remains and burn them. Cremation is the only way to be safe. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Come on, let me just get right on that. No problem. <laughs> So what should we do? Procreate. Lights out. Good night, everyone. So kind. <laughs> a messiah on this planet. What is that? Like a god? Well, he who watches are a part of apparently. He was born right here in this region of the world. Of all the places we could have landed, we landed at almost the very same spot he lived. Do you think that's a coincidence? You know I don't believe in coincidence and neither do you. I feel like I'm supposed to do something. You are. Sleep. They killed him. Some of the same people who followed him. One of his friends betrayed him for money. It's such a tragic story. They tortured him. Humiliated him. And nailed him to a tree on top of a hill called Calvary. Calvary means school here. And you know the part that scares me the most? Three days after he died, he came back from the dead. Like a Zed? Did he eat their brains? He should have after they betrayed him and killed him. I don't know. I didn't get that far in the book. Let us read it tomorrow. Together. I like that. Good night, friends. So kind.
they do this to you? Why did you let them? My father asked me to. Your father? He must be cruel. Never. But he can be tough. Can I help you? My father will help me. What you can do is help Earth's humanity, which teaches on the verge of Armageddon today. That is why I brought you here. If you think I can, I will. Hurry. The dead are preparing to rise. Sister. He died to save this planet's people. And now he's asking for our help to do it again. The dead! The dead have risen! What? No! The Dead Sea! It's disappearing! If you say they're aliens, then I guess they're aliens. You know, I've never seen you interest in anything that wasn't buried underground for the last 50,000 years. You've brushed off my advances for so long now. You've made advances? I mean, a man can only get shot down so many times before he gives up. David, I'm so sorry for not noticing. I wanted to discover something important first. Maybe we can discover something together. You, uh, know what they want us to do now, right? What the hell? Maybe we will procreate after all. These are a bunch of heavy minerals that have settled to the bottom over the years. It's perfectly normal. There's something inside? No, I highly doubt it. But if there is, I'm certain they're dead. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Same sign from up top, except I've never heard of the department designating an underwater site. Our archaeological dig site is the Dead Sea site. This is just the dead site. Maybe an intern left a word off?
On the third day, Christ rose again. Book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 46. That's a quote from the Christian Bible. But why is it here? A cult? A secret attraction for scuba divers? I don't know. This could mean anything. There's a passage right here. I don't know how to gain entrance. Only the dead can open it, Mia. Yes, Father. Only the dead can open it. Just like their savior. Their savior? The man you call Jesus. This is the most incredible archaeological discovery in the history of the world. Why are we whispering? I don't know what else is down here, but if anything, I don't want to become a part of this skull collection. Oh. It will give us everlasting life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
Let's hear don't move as fast. We have an advantage. Oh shit, we fucking did this. He who watches got tired of watching us ruin this world. He drove humans off from race. Now Earth. And likely every other world has ever created. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why do your people hate you? They're not my people. On my planet Wraith, we had two tribes, the Nephilates and my tribe. We were at war with one another for resources and our differences in beliefs of our creator. At one point there was peace, but someone broke the truce. No one really knows who started it, but on the first night of the attack, I lost my mother, my father, four sisters, my twin brother, and most of my friends. What happened? They were murdered in their sleep. I managed to survive, but then the dead arose to consume us all. I only survived for one reason. What reason was that? Revenge. A new war between Earth's inhabitants has begun. A war founded on religious differences, greed, and a struggle for power. A war that is only a prelude to the true devastation that is about to sweep this doomed world. Begun. We have to get to the city. Why? What's in the city? A great evil is about to be unleashed. We have to go now. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Thy kingdom come. Never. your world like you know before right uh sort of like this you know, dry and dusty 
My father did say that before the war was over there. So you had wars too? Well, the Ariels and the Nipilates, they fought over everything. Land, water, holy grounds. I remember when I was younger, children of each tribe would get together, of course, with the adults, and they created a children's peace treaty in which we decided to share. Yes, let the children negotiate peace. I mean, they're the only ones left that are not blinded by hatred. Right, well, the adults laughed at us and burned the treaty. Um, and the fighting intensified after that. are gone, you think the zombies will make horror movies about us? <laughs> I guess we'll either live or die together. But I'm good with that. I'm sorry I got you involved in this, Dr. Coleman. It's okay. You know, India Jones and the Temple of Death, it's quite a song. But in case there's not a second date. Guys! Zombies! Let's ride. Let's do this. It's good time. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. No one stay close.
Once you've had dead dick, tell them that trick. <laughs> dead dick. It's always hard. I know, right? Something's not right here. We need to keep moving. The prayer wall. Smart set. We're not doing this. We stay together. Round three. Woman. I'm gonna make with you so hard after this. I'll oh, just blow them for you. Why did you bother to make us? You have to know we'd be fucked up! <laughs> Take your clothes off. I want to track mine. Oh, fuck me. Not now. Later. Not that kind of fuck me. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to live or not with the alpha man? You'll be the king? You are he who watches, aren't you? Henri, that is my name. You sacrificed yourself to save mankind from eternal death. Why? My father asked me to. King of the dead. And queen of the dead. <laughs> Seth, I can't roam alone on this planet. You won't hold me together like we promised. Oh. Seth, what are you doing?
this waste of flesh off my altar. You don't talk to me like that, little girl. Carl, do what the fuck I say. Stella. Benedicanos. Benedicanos. We summon thee on this night. We summon thee on this night. To give a sacrifice of blood. To give a sacrifice of blood. For thy life. For thy life. Nostrum Stella. Benedicanos. Nostrum Stella. Benedicanos. We summon thee on this night. We summon thee on this night. To give a sacrifice of blood. To give a sacrifice of blood. For thy life. For thy life. Even a real woman. 
was impeded, but a new battle has begun. Help them, watch them, and if you must, punish them. And if I don't? My father will. In your name, he who watches. And in your name, she who watches. Earth has become a world of decay and wickedness. The sinful sweep the land, drawing innocent blood to feed their selfish needs. Where is it? Where is it, bitch? Humanity struggles to do better. For those who don't, punish them. My faithful Zed Watchers now patrol the lands, 